Hello and welcome to this edition of the Airport News Show, a half hour program about the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. I'm Debbie Jones, Community Relations Administrator. On today's program we're talking about art. And if you've been out to the airport recently, you know we've got some beautiful pieces of art out there and so that's what this program is all about. I want to go ahead and introduce my very special guest, starting with Ms. K. Beth Cornelius, who is the program coordinator for the Jacksonville International Airport Arts Commission. Welcome, K. Beth. Hi, Debbie. Glad Thank to have you here. Us. Thank you for being here. And next to her is Mr. Martin Van Hoekte, who is the chairman of the Jacksonville International Airport Arts Commission. Welcome, Martin. So glad you could be here. Great to be here, Debbie. And last but not least, Mr. Jim Bra Draper, excuse me, who is a local ba locally based artist, and you have some pieces in the airport, and we're going to get the privilege of talking about that this half of the show. So Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Let's talk first about what the Arts Commission is and how that gets ha translated into art at the airport. So, Kay Beth, can you kind of tell us what your role is and then about the Arts Commission? We have two basic components of the art program at the airport. We have a rotating exhibition program and a permanent art collection. And the permanent art collection are permanently installed pieces throughout the airport. And the rotating exhibition program is more like a, a gallery exhibit space. I, um, I'm the person basically working out at the airport, making it happen uh, with security with you mm -hmm. and others that work at the airport. And Martin is the chairperson for the Arts Commission. So tell us a little bit about the commission, Martin. H who is part of the commission and what your role is in ensuring that we get such quality art at the airport? The commission has 12 members mm -hmm. and those people are community-based. They may have an expertise in art matters. They may have a particular interest in the art at the airport. And we all come together as volunteers and try to make sure that the, the best art possible is either displayed at or purchased for the, uh, the Jacksonville International Airport. So the Art Commission, you look at pieces <coughs> of art that you, and then make a proposal to the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. How does that work? It's a long process, it depends a bit on the circumstances, but very often we come in to beautify a particular building at the airport. And uh, we work within our budget, we look for the best art that's out there, we have open competitions, and we ask for uh, artists to send in their work to be considered, and then after a very thorough process, we make a selection. Okay. Do you work with the Aviation Authority Board of Directors in finalizing the selection? There is a liaison, uh, one of the uh, airport uh, staff members that works very closely with us. So we know that we are within our mandate and within our parameters. And then once that art has been chosen and it's time to get it into the airport, K. Beth, mm -hmm. that's kind of where you step in and make it happen. In the permanent collection, yes. yes. The, um, the artist usually has a fabrication company, installation company, and they are usually flying here from, typically usually flying here from other parts of the United States to make that happen. So I organize their security. Um, I organize through the construction team and operations at the airport, and it gets done. That's, that's <laughs> and very beautifully, I must yes. say. And what, I understand that you're in the process of choosing another permanent piece to go into the airport. Can you talk briefly about that and where you are in that process? Um, very quickly, you know, the, uh, the Jacksonville Airport has, um, has uh, gotten a very, very important uh, profile. We are very highly regarded uh, due to the choice of artwork at the airport and with this uh, upcoming commission the number of interested artists is absolutely overwhelming, uh, which I think speaks volumes to the quality of art here in Jacksonville. Very good. And where is this new installation going to go at the airport? It will be installed in the area described as the connector bridge, which is the area between ticketing and the courtyard. It will be a new area constructed next year 
or renovated, I should say. It will um, be located someplace in the air space above people right. as they walk through. Now you mentioned that the volume of people who want to have a permanent piece at the airport speaks to the quality of the pieces we have there. I understand that some of the pieces have actually been recognized nationally in, in a, in, for awards for the quality of the piece. Can you tell us a little bit about those pieces? We have two pieces that have been recognized by the Public Art Network as um, uh, the best of the year of the installations, uh, The River, and also Gotta Go by Gordon Huther. Um, today we have Jim Draper, who's here today. He installed Healing Palms, which is on the screening area of security. And we also have two other local artists that have installed permanent pieces in the airport. And that would be David Ingdahl and Don Martin. Um, David Ingdahl is a former architect, and Don Martin is a fine arts professor at Flagler. And so we have some examples. Very good. Uh, if we could go ahead and um, look at this. This is Healing Palms, created by Jim Draper. Now, Jim, since we're talking about your piece, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you as an artist and what drew you to want to be a part of this particular project? Well, this, uh, this particular project uh, at the airport was a little bit different from the other ones in that these uh, panels were mandated as a security feature at the, uh, after you, we had to start going through the more stringent security process, I guess, after 9-11. Uh, after mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so um, the, I was approached on this one and actually invited to participate because the, um, they had these panels that needed some kind of image on them. So I worked with the commission. And the idea I had uh, was frosting the glass, you know, completely and then having the images, which is a local scene, uh, you know, uh, images that would be, um, you know, indicative of this part of the country. But the colors, the, the light and colors and the behind them are what actually, what actually create the form. So at Christmas time, when you have red sweaters and all, you get a little bit different, a different color. And then in the spring, when people wear spring clothes, they have, uh, they have some uh, different color um, as, they, uh, uh, as seasons change. Right. And it is such a striking piece as people approach the security checkpoint. So now on the bottom corner there, those are some other examples of your artwork. Can you explain that right. a little that bit? Right. That was a series that I did uh, several years ago that was about, uh, uh, it was called Healing Palms, and it was about the fact that palm trees after, mainly it was after the fires that we had, and the palm trees re-sprouted immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, and so. Uh, it's about the significance of looking to your, the healing inspiration of nature. And uh, how fitting for an airport where a lot of times people are nervous or apprehensive, mm -hmm. especially as you mentioned right after 9-11 mm -hmm. and uh, just what a soothing image that portrays to the millions of people that go through the airport every day. So uh, did, I think we have a picture of the um, of the uh, concourse. Oh, oh this is some more. That's, yeah. that's some okay. uh, some more some uh, images that I'm working on now. That's I'm really been in, interested in reflections and uh, water reflections and and uh, and the South with the right. uh, cypress trees. And that's that's actually on the um, river just south of the Sands Bridge. Okay. It's a, Next. The next one, okay. And that's some go. other. Uh, I'm also mm -hmm. doing a lot of chickens and cows and, <laughs> and Florida-based. My imagery is mostly so, is southeastern and uh, right. images that are meaningful mm -hmm. you know, from a from my personal experience. Right. Now, what kind of feedback, if any, have you gotten for the work that you have permanently displayed at the airport? Oh, I've got I got a lot. It's it's amazing. Um, uh, people 
they see the signature and they they uh, they they ask me if I did that. And mm -hmm. I, I get a, I've, I've had people from all over the country that have noticed noticed mm -hmm. the pieces. Mm -hmm. So was this a good move for you, a good installation? Oh, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was a very yeah. good, very, very good piece. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because it's, I don't normally uh, work in etched glass, but it, was, okay. uh, but it was interesting to take the images and transfer them to a different uh, medium. And it certainly was very successful. And, of course, I'm not what you would call a, an art connoisseur, but it's beautiful. It oh, is you. beautiful, and, and it's a significant part of what makes the ambiance of the, the airport so pleasing to the millions of passengers that go through the airport. So um, as far as the Art Commission is going, how long have you been procuring and looking for art for the airport? I think our history is approximately 15 years, uh, but I should say that we have been very active and uh, I think it's all good for Jacksonville and for the airport. Uh, we just mentioned a couple of awards that the program has uh, received nationally. But you also have coverage in uh, national newspapers such as uh, USA Today and others. So I think it brings the focus onto uh, a quality of the airport that everybody notices but you know, you're very often, as you mentioned, busy and you're on your way to a destination you don't always have the time to uh, properly reflect on that. Now, Jim, you ma the Healing Palms is one of your main features, and you mentioned that nature is really uh, something that, that motivates you. Is there anything else that motivates you as far as your creative process in, in the works that you do? I think that a lot of, uh, another thing that's really important to me, and this one thing that relates well to the, uh, the collection at the airport is I, uh, I like to, to do a lot of work regarding the position of the artist in the community. And I think that um, a, a lot of uh, artists are often ma marginalized in the community because they, people don't understand what we do and don't understand the importance. Uh, it's one of those things like art at the airport, if you don't have it, it's, uh, it's very obvious, but sometimes the, the uh, uh, having it there, y it's not, you don't really quite understand what it is that makes your, your, your experience in life more pleasant. And um, so a lot, a lot of what I try to work on, not only in my, the work that I produce, but also in the opportunities I have is talk about the, uh, the importance of having artists in the community and the importance of, of arts and education and having, I also teach uh, at UNF, so I've, I've I, I really think it's very important to have a well-rounded arts community with a, and Jacksonville does a wonderful job of supporting artists that are based in Jacksonville. So. Well, that's encouraging to hear. So, what would your suggestion or recommended recommendation be to local artists when they see a call for bids? Would you? What well, would your recommendation? I think realistically. Uh, I think certainly they should be encouraged to investigate what the process is to apply. Sometimes uh, I think they're, uh, that's a little bit at the top. I think that sometimes it's better to build up a, a stronger resume of, of exhibiting in a lot of other areas, a lot of other venues. Um, I think it's really interesting for, for artists to to understand what the procedure is and to see, I've been on both sides of the fence. Right. I've been because I've, right. I've been in a jur juror's position also, right. and to see how the process works and what people in the all over the world. I mean, I'm sure that you've had applications exactly. and, from from all over the world, and so you're. Uh, it, it's really interesting to be aware of of how complicated it is. Right. Well, I, we're out of time for this segment, so I want to, I know Kay Beth will be coming back, uh, but thank you, Martin, uh, JIA Arts Commission Chairman, and Jim Draper, thank you so much for the beautiful thank piece you. you have at the airport. And don't go away. When we come back, some more from our...